everyone. I'm Tatsana Sivardana. And I'm Akhila Randenia. Welcome to the Women's Policy Action Network podcast series. So Tatsana, if you remember, in March, we launched this project, especially mm. with the idea of empowering women and making sure that we can collect as many stakeholders as possible. Mm. Um, because from what I see, um, we had a lot of research being done in this area, but not a lot of advocacy, right? Right. Um, so we looked at things like gender discriminatory land laws. We looked at uh, the digital e-space mm. commerce um, and things like that that can help women become more empowered economically. And we yeah. feel like that's a key step that needs to be taken when uh, talking about empowering women in the labor force. Yes, I I agree, um, Akira. So when we launched Women's Policy Action Network back in March uh, this year, uh, what we actually wanted to focus was uh, to kind of look at policy areas that hasn't been touched yet. So labor laws is something that everyone's talking about, right? But more than labor laws, there are other several aspects that kind of um, restrained women from entering into the labor force. So when we are talking about giving more access to women um, to come into the labor force, we are also saying by indirectly, you are also empowering women economically. So that is the entire goal and the objective of this um, Women's Policy Action Network is to empower women economically and also to give them a choice. Whether they are, if they want to uh, work, they should, be ha- they should have the choice to work. And if they don't want to do work, they should not. Uh, they should have the choice to do to work or not to work. Um, so that is what we also believe in. Hence, we want to kind of launch this platform to kind of bring, as you mentioned, all the stakeholders together. Because what we believe is without, um, you know, voicing our concerns or like, you know, without voicing about all these reforms that we want to take place as individual people, it's rather that it's rather better to kind of, you know, make a collective voice. So that's why we kind of thought this collective platform is a better place for people to come together and make a collective voice about the, all, all these reforms that are needed. Right. Um, so what can people expect from this podcast series? Um, so technically in this podcast series, what we are trying to do is all the areas that we have covered so far um, in terms of labor laws, in terms of land inheritance laws, in terms of digital inter- infrastructure, social infrastructure, um, and also informal sector. All these areas will be covered by different, different guests coming into this podcast and talking with us and, you know, explaining their um, uh, views about it, uh, how the reform profit process then can start, um, even from think tanks, uh, fr- from academics to think tanks, to corporate sector people will be coming in, speaking about their experience and their expertise and sharing across their thoughts through this podcast as well. So our aim with bringing in this many prolific guests is to help people understand these niche areas, right? And figure out Mm. how exactly we can empower women in certain situations. Mm. And we're also looking at things that we consider small wins, right? That small victories that are easily attainable that are going to leave a bigger impact as we go on. So Akira, through our WPN platform, we had a couple of events that happened, right? Um, On in March, we had our launch event where we focused on, uh, we had a panel discussion where we focused on labor laws. Uh, specifically, we focus on part-time work, nighttime work, and also chi- uh, child care because we figured that those were the low-hanging areas in terms of labor reforms. And also, we had a half-day conference where we focused on digital infrastructure, where we spoke about um, the accessibility to uh, digital entrepreneurship and in- in infrastructure as well and access to e-commerce. On the other panel, we focused on social infrastructure where we spoke about child care, elderly care, and also um, parental leave. So to add on to what you were saying, Tatsarni, at these conferences, we also published a couple of policy briefs that can be found at advocata.org. You can also find snippets of our panel discussions and other social media content on all our platforms at WPNLK. Stay tuned for more episodes. See you soon.